Okay, so this is a mousetrap powered car. And this is a mousetrap that powers the whole car. And just if you want to build it in the future, the zip tie goes in the back. This is the back axle. And this is the front axle. And as you can see, the brass bar right here is going through the middle of the front axle. So, the brass bar right here, as I just showed you, is attached to this mouse trap. And this is a spring that after you wind it, after you wind it, um, this is this, the, uh, the spring force that powers the whole mouse trap. And there is a bunch of energy involved, but I'm not here. I'm just here to show you how it works. So, you wind it back, so like this. I'm pulling it back so it winds up. So now it's all wound up, but I have to put it. Okay, so it's all wound up right here. As you can see, there's string, a wound up string, and then this is the string attached to that as well. So I'm not going to actually put it on the floor since this is a carpet and the and this is not how it actually moves. So <clears throat> okay. So I'm just gonna lift it up and you're gonna see how it moves. And you'll see the wheels moving too. Ready? As you can see, after I let it go, the string is coming up and the wheels are moving because they're mo making the back axle move and the front and when the back axle moves the front axle moves too yeah, it's just the back axle moves and so that moves and it just goes slowly back and so it comes back on here and this is a spring as I told you before it since I, right here it's attached to the brass bar and so when it moves there's a string force right spring force right here not tension spring and that makes that makes um the string go back into its place